Good afternoon, welcome on in to another episode of From Day One. This afternoon, courtesy of our good friends over at Frauditor's Troll, we'll start with an Auditor Karen who gets his, well, pants in an uproar when trying to file complaints at the local police department. I need two complaint forms, please. Two complaint forms. And your name. My name? Yeah. My name is Frown. What was that? What was that? What was that, what was that frown? The frown face for? Why'd you put that? <laughs> I'm just curious. Ask you for your name. What exactly did it mean? I just told you. I just need two complaint forms. What's with the attitude? Is there a form? Uh, Are they out there? No, there's not. They're, they're never out here. Uh, this is the second time I come and I didn't see them last time. They're supposed to be out here. Can I get a few extra ones to put them out here for the public? Please. That's where they're supposed to be. So Joey says it's the second time he's out here filing complaint forms. Just tell us you're a Karen without telling us you're a Karen, Joey. He can't. He's a Karen. Here's one. Thank you. If you need something else, sign in. And I'll get another. Do you, do you have to sign in to get another complaint form? Ask for two. No, I don't have. I don't have another one. Take that one right there. I need two. Are you having a bad day? Are you having a How bad day? does it feel to want? Are you having a bad day? Being sign with in. you? Yes. I'll be right with you. I'm doing something right now. What if I don't sign in? I gotta focus on what I'm doing, sir. Well, I want service. I'm, I'm, out here. That one. I'm out here for a reason. I just want another complaint from him. I would have been out of your hair. There it is right there. I need two. You know the difference between one or two? I need two. How about the difference one. between I slap you and I could use the whole yeah, living shit name? out of you? I forgot. I have a bad memory. Then you're stupid. Oh, you're an officer? What? She's acting like that? That's crazy, man. No, you're crazy. Yeah, it is crazy that you have a grown man in his 40s that gets so offended and has such thin skin that he has a full-blown Karen meltdown because he doesn't have enough complaint forms. I'm sure give him a couple minutes and he's going to ask for her supervisor, a.k.a. the manager. <laughs> give her a few seconds and that'll happen. Oh, your manager... What's your badge number? 6080. Can I get a couple more for the public out here? What do you mean, no, we cannot? They're supposed to be out in the public. Unless What's your attitude? Something. You want something signed here? If not, let me get back to what I'm doing. Dude, let me get a couple more for the public. They're supposed to be in your lobby. You know, when we pay for these papers, it might sound ridiculous. We pay all of this right here. Yeah, she could yeah. try. Can we get a supervisor? I need another one. I need another one because I'm going to form a complaint on you now. Let me, get, let me get another one. Give me another one. Give me another complaint form. Give me another complaint form. Give me another complaint form now. I want to form a complaint, a file complaint on you now. They're right there. Hand me one. Yo, there's people here that need service, and you're holding up the whole line. Just give me another complaint you for so I can are ask holding them. up the line. Some courtesy against these people that need service. This is why we filmed the police department. This is why we filmed the police, man. This is exactly why this behavior right here. Let me get another one, and I'll leave. No, you won't. Can I get the other complaint form so I can get out of here? No. You haven't signed in. You're not going to give me the complaint form. What part of no do you not understand? The no or the no? Either give me the complaint form or I'm requesting a supervisor. Give me the complaint form so I can get out of here. Wow. Your hair. Joey, this is sad. Yes. This video makes you look so bad. 
even to the untrained eye, someone could clearly see that you're having a little bit of a Karen meltdown He's right now. He's having a bad day. Being a Karen. Going a right right there. A wing you're not going to give me the complaint form? Yo, this lady is rude as hell, dude. I feel bad, bro, for these people waiting here. I feel like I'm holding... Look, look at the complaint forms right there. I don't know if you guys can catch that. Because you're stupid. You don't know how to use your potato can. So this is the behavior that you get over here. Guys, just for asking for complaint forms. I got the two, but does this lady want to keep ignoring me? So you guys can like, witness that behavior here. Okay. Yeah, we're witnessing your behavior, Joey. Put the complaint that I was going to put on the officer aside and substitute it with hers. Right here. What do you guys think about that? I'll come back with the next one. Because this, we're going to try one more time. Yeah. Oh, let me see something real quick. Station. Candle station. You see it right there in the middle? That's the number to the station, guys. You guys got our name in the, in the beginning. You might want to call it in. For this Are you system. trying to tell them to spam and cause a legal act here? Yeah. They don't have cameras, right? So she's going ahead and she's treating them, right? Serving them, right? But me, because I have a camera, and I want something so simple. Let me see if she ignores me after that. Can I please get the other complaint form so I can leave? You already, already gave I need another one. one. I need another one. I want to make a complaint on you. Give me the other one. This is our complaint form. I guess it's for two officers. I need one for you so I can get out of here. This isn't over. I'm start. I'm filing a complaint on you with your supervisor. People are going to call the station. Let me get the other complaint form so I can leave. It looks like Karen is really getting in her feelings right now. The meltdown is getting even worse. Imagine this being your life, going to police stations and having a little bit of a temper tantrum because you can't get enough complaint forms. As a grown man in his 40s, that is ridiculous. If you don't have any other Can I, get the, I just need another complaint leave. form, brother. That's all. Leave. Don't tell me to leave. Don't tell me to leave. I need another complaint form. Here, I'll do it for her. Leave. Have a nice day, sir. Nah, you have a bad day. Can I get another complaint form? And I'll be out of here. Your, your attitude sucks. You shouldn't even be working here for the public. I just want another complaint form. Give me the complaint form now. You guys are not going to give me the complaint form? I, I need two for two officers. I need one for her. This one. This I need, I need no, another one for her. Excuse me. What's your name and badge number, man? What's your name, man? No, correct. Yo, you, you're wrong. This isn't over. Now I'm going to substitute one of these complaints for you. Your attitude sucks. Yes, Joey, your attitude sucks. Guys, call that number real quick that I, that I posted there. Because they're just manhandling and doing what they want with our complaint forms. So now what he's doing is going to encourage call flooding because he got his Which is illegal. feelings hurt. And it looks like the information on the complaint form is not the actual form. It's just the info on how to file it online. So only one form is necessary anyways. So this is the behavior you get here. That is the rudest female officer I've ever ran into in any station, dude. Yeah, I'll buy her some donuts. I've been sitting there waiting for 40 minutes, dude. Aww. I'm not I got people to record and, ex and rights to exercise, you know. I gotta go. You guys be safe out there. You got people to around. Watching Joey's for real. This is not over. And, um, we're gonna file a complaint on her. I should file the other one on the other dude, too, and put these other two on hold. Aw, oh, poor baby. So there you have it, guys. You're watching Joey's surreal camera. Peace. Typical Karen moment. He walks mm -hmm. into the police station wanting to file two complaints, and he ends up leaving wanting to file four. Oh, boy, Joey. How are you going to make it in life? 
Anyways, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like Thank you very much, Friday the Troll. We definitely, definitely appreciate it. Let's see if we can find another quickie. Hopefully we can. Maybe we can. Uh, all of these are long ones. Damn it. I think we'd have baby ones. Well, that's an hour. Another hour. Two and a half hours. Huh. Okay, here we go. I'm from Windshield. You're not allowed to do that. All right, I get that. I get that. Are you the registered owner? I get that situated. Are you the registered owner of the car? Um, may I speak to a supervisor? And here we go. You want to speak to a supervisor yes. in reference to what? Um, I just want to speak to a supervisor. In in reference to? Uh, I mean, I can get a supervisor out here. I just need to let him know what you're, what you're calling him out here for, you know what I mean? Because if you're an idiot. I have these papers ready. Okay. So I, um, I'll, get the, I'll get the tent took off. Okay. But if, if it's a problem... Then I, w I, w I would like to speak to a, a supervisor. What do you mean if it's a problem? Like if it's a, if it's illegal? No, like if no, I, I know I know that it's not legal because I'm not um I'm not driving. I'm traveling. Oh well, if you're traveling, I mean, go right ahead, and the tint doesn't matter. Okay, but I'm saying you're so operating a motor vehicle. I mean, we can agree on that. So I'm just saying, if that's a problem, then I would like to speak to a supervisor. Okay, I understand that. I'll get a supervisor started out here. Okay, you got your license or, or any sort of identification with you? No. You don't have any sort of no, identification. No, stupid, Your Honor. No. Do you have a Maryland driver's license? I don't have a driver's license because I'm not driving it. I know. I understand that. I understand but you, you know, stupid. You're operating a motor vehicle. You and I can agree on that. You say that you're traveling. I say you're driving. We can agree on the grounds that you're operating a motor vehicle. Yes? You're currently in Baltimore County. Can I speak to a supervisor? I, I'm going to get a super. I'm just explaining all of this out to you. I see you got your video started. I want to give you the best explanation that I can, okay? Yes, sir. So, you and I can meet on the common grounds that you're operating a motor vehicle on Baltimore County roads in the state of Maryland. Yes? We agree on that. You're not driving, you're I traveling. I don't agree with that. You don't agree with that? I, I agree that I'm traveling. You're traveling on Baltimore County roads in a motor vehicle that you're operating. <laughs> <laughs> My key. Can I speak to a supervisor? Like I said, I'm going to get one started out here. No big deal. All right? I'm just going to grab your name real quick. I am eBay. Hi, eBay. What's up? Are you the registered owner? I am eBay. No, I understand that. Is this your vehicle? Or did you, did you steal it? You borrow it? Like, can I speak to a supervisor? Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna get one started out here, no big deal. Alright? But not at the end. Okay. Thank you. You have insurance for the vehicle? Can I please speak to a supervisor? I'm, I'm gonna get one started no, out you here. Cannot. Like I said, no big deal. Alright? Alright, thank you. You mind if I look over this stuff? Look over what? Your paperwork right there. I just wanna make sure I don't violate any sort of your code of ethics, alright? You mind if I take it and read it? Yes. Okay. Read it. All right. Do I need to read that one? That, that's an well? oath to um that that you guys take as uh, to the okay. office. Okay. That's your oath that you take. Do I need to read that one as well? Um, this is just the court papers that back it up, but I would like to speak to a supervisor. Okay. You mind if I read that? I'd yeah, like to. I mean, I'd like to understand a little bit more about what you're saying. You know. Can I speak to a supervisor? I'm I'm gonna no. I'm gonna request a supervisor as soon as I go back to my office. You not. Like I said, I just want to understand a little bit more. I don't want to. I don't want to violate any sort of your uh, your code of ethics or anything like that. Thank you. Okay, that's how we're gonna do it. I appreciate it. Hang tight for one second. All right. Hey Antonio, do me a favor and roll down your window. So mm -hmm. All right. So. Here's the deal. I know you have a learner's permit, okay? You don't have a driver's license. Your name's Antonio Clifford Jackson Jr., date of birth 92798. You're 5 That's 135. Not me. Uh, I pulled your picture up That's in the That's my explanation of me. Okay, yeah, I pulled your picture up in the car. So, here's the thing. When you went to the NBA to get your learner's permit, you submitted to a whole bunch of rules and regulations to follow, okay? I'm just letting you know. Um, I, I know that you're driving without a license. You're driving with a learner's permit. I have a couple options right now, okay? I can give you a whole bunch of tickets, give you a whole bunch of warnings, or I can make you get out of the car, find another ride, until you're far because you're driving without a license. Pick me, pick me. <laughs> That's 
we're out right now. So, yeah, let's speak to a supervisor. Wrong answer. Supervisor's on the way out here right now. Right. Like I said from the very beginning, no big deal. I thought so, the supervisor's uh, going to pick me. Is this how we're going to play? Because I'll go back and I'll start writing the tickets right now. You can go ahead and call for a ride because I'm going to tow the car. You're driving without a, uh, a driver's license. So, if you want to keep this straight up, I mean, like I said, I'm cool with towing your car. That doesn't make a difference to me. But, you got that all on video. I've been nothing but nice to you. I've explained everything to you. What's it going to be? My supervisor's on his way out here right now. You want me to go start writing the tickets? I want you to, I want you to get the supervisor. He's on his way out here right now. Right. Oh, eBay. You got you to gotta know when someone's trying to help you. All right, but I'm going to be proactive and productive and uh, start writing those tickets for you, all right? Do me a favor. And what, uh, the paper that I gave you? Did you uh, guys that, other, that also has it right there, I believe. Did you read it? Yeah, I was reading through it. Uh, right. Here's my supervisor rolling up right now. All right. Um, so it would probably be in your best interest. I, I know you got your video up and you want to keep that going, um, but you're going to have to make a phone call. If, yeah, I, I saw it. You know, your zip code's 21216. That's not close, so you probably want to gonna call somebody to give you a ride, okay? All right. I'll be right back. Can I have that paper? No, you cannot. I'll oh, give it to the supervisor. To the supervisor. What's up, buddy? Are you the supervisor? What's up, loser? Why don't you just give me your license and ID and cut the crap? That way you can be on your way. Now well, there's an idea. Because I'm... Um, Listen, I don't want to hear all the mumbo jumbo, okay? Mm, right, mumbo jumbo. He's getting ready to walk up, but he's going to tell you the same thing. I would like to speak to this So, where's your ID or your license? I don't have that. You don't have it on you at all? I don't have that. You don't have any identification on you? I'm not sure if you're familiar or anything. Well, you don't have any ID? I would like to speak to a supervisor. Do you have ID on you? We're going to ask you the same thing. So you just cut to the chase, and you can be on your way. Right? He doesn't know how to. No, no. no. Nope. I can't have your badge number. There's no reason for you to have it. So there's no reason for you guys to have my identification. Yeah, there is. No. So he can ID you based the right on to the travel, right here. The right to travel, right here. The right to travel. The right to mode of conveyance. Where'd you get that piece of The paper? right to is. You take an oath to a constitution. Oh, okay. I just gave him the paper. You, print, you printed that out. I just out gave him yourself? the paper right there. That's what you. Uh, that's what. You all printed out a boy to your stupid idiot dot plus from the system dot com.
Let's get to the school out of this. Uh. Yeah, so I got my supervisor right here. This is Corporal Sager. How you doing, Mr. Supervisor? This is Mr. Jackson. This is Corporal Sager. Can I have your badge number? Sure. 5783. 5783. Yeah, and again, my name is Corporal Sager. You can see it right here. Alright, um, can I have that paper that I, uh, the, uh, that the, uh, one of you, uh, he has it, that officer has it. Sure. Most of the papers that we have. There's a paper that, uh, that you guys take an oath to. Sure. That officers sure. take an oath to. Okay, so, so here's where we are, Mr. Jackson. We possibly identified who you are. But that's not me. That's not me as the flesh. But that's the name that you had to use to the MBA to get the privilege to drive. Unfortunately, your privilege to drive is not complete because you only have what's called Class C learns. It really is a shame somebody got to him this young and convinced him of this this nonsense. Uh, I mean, he's he's got a learner's permit and uh, he's he's trying this stuff on police officers. It's just not stupid. Good. In the state of Maryland, somebody with Class C learns needs to have somebody over a certain age with a valid license in the driver's seat to be able to continue driving. Okay? So I know that so you're not the one that came up with these rules, right? You you may not have even, you're, you're a younger man, you may not have even voted for somebody who came up with them. Okay, but they are the rules that we follow here on the streets of Baltimore County. That you guys follow. They are, they are the rules that you guys, that, that that applies to you guys, not me. Where, where do they get this stuff? Yeah, unfortunately it applies to Insanity. everyone who's traveling on Baltimore that's, County Road. That's true. Okay. I'm traveling. I, I know that you sort of wish that this isn't the case, and it might be that through advocacy and through your vote, and through your voice, you're able to make changes that you feel would make a better society, but we are currently living and functioning in the society as it stands now. But okay. those laws does not apply to me. They, they sure do. Okay, so what we're trying to do is work within those laws to cut you as much of a break as possible. Okay? Because I understand if you if you don't self-identify as Mr. Jackson, if you self-identify as something else, the fact that you're going to receive citations today is really going to jam you up because you're probably FDA for court and it'll become an issue with a warrant later on. What we're trying to do is keep FDA, by the way, sell your deal. easy yeah. for you as possible. Currently, your car is parked blocking a driveway, which gives us the right to tow it because you're not going to be able to move this car because you don't have a bad license. What I would like to be able to do, with your permission, of course, is I would like to move your car into a valid parking spot. That would be a couple of I can back. move it up. Okay? So then from that point on, if you have another a valid license driver that wants to swing by and drive this car away, the car is great to do so. Right? Your, your license is valid. It's just a license. I don't have a license. You don't have a full license. You I don't license. have a license. Okay. So I'm willing to work for that because the fact that you're going to receive citations today is already going to be a little bit of a financial burden on you. What I don't want to do is then add an unnecessary tow bill, which until you then decide to take a registration for vehicle and go so it out, you got continues yeah. to amass. All right. So I'm I'm trying to figure out what I can do to help you out. They called you out because you wanted to talk to the supervisor. Yes, so sir. Had a little bit more discretion, a little bit of leverage. And that's why I'm here today. The right of a citizen to travel upon the public highways and to transport one's property thereon. I'm not trying. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not dealing with. I'm not dealing commerce right now. So I'm not transporting any goods. There's no injured party. I'm being detained. And like like I said, okay, that that is the way that you wish that this was going to go. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that is not the rules and the reality in which we function. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to do my best for you. That I, I know that it's frustrating to have all these police officers around. I know that it's frustrating to have to be, you know, sitting here parked, surrounded by us for as long as you have. And I appreciate that you're being still being calm, yes. you're still being rational. Okay, so we're going to try to to strike while that iron is hot. Okay, and use that rationality for you to understand this doesn't end. Can I ask you one question? You sure may. What is your nationality? I'm a United States citizen. So a United States citizen cannot. Okay. A, a, a U.S. citizen cannot enforce law. Mm -hmm. Good faith, Mike. A U.S. citizen right, so cannot enforce law. I, I, I know that you, you kind of got that. Now there's a time frame going on, okay? So what happens is in, in Baltimore County, there's a number of companies that have a contract with the county, and their their contract states that. They are able to arrive on scene anywhere we request a tow within a 15-minute time period. All right? Usually it takes less than that. 
So I would love to be able to cancel that tow and not have you end up with a tow bill over this. Right? So I, I get it, but like your place to, to make to make this sort of logistical stand is not here on the street, right? We, at the end of the day, are police officers. So, so we can take arguing, it to court, yes. The things you're arguing are things that can argue to court, and things that can argue to court right. legislature. All right. So when Officer Usher brings the citations up, it's going to say, here's how you pay it, here's okay. how you take it to court. If All right. court is what you desire, perfect. That's well within your rights to do. All right. All right? So is there a, a phone call that we can make, somebody to come give you a ride, or are you close enough to take you guys, bus? You guys can't tow my car. Well, we can, because you can't drive it forward because you don't have the valid license, okay? And the place that you... I'm not driving, though. No, I'm traveling. Over, okay? I'm traveling. It's blocking a residential driveway. I that can, I can easily license. travel up right now. Okay, why don't you go ahead and travel over there without driving? These are the things... These are the things that are going to become an issue for you, is that if you move the car right now, right, you're in violation, you're doing this thing in my presence, which is a lot different than the fact that when this officer pulled you over, we hadn't identified you. Now that we know you're not a valid licensed driver, I'm trying to help you out. Your, your place to argue it is in a, is in a court of law. All oh, right, so we can take it there. Okay? So that's where it will go eventually, but for right now, your car's either getting towed or I'm moving it. Right? Those are your options. And I feel like I've done as good of a job as I can of explaining. You've done an excellent job of explaining your side. Yeah, the wrong the side. Being that What's the problem? Your side is something the that's is on our legislature. It's oh, not no. argued on the street, but we are already... I haven't identified myself as a corporation for you guys to even act on as being a, as acting over me as a corporate person. So, before you became enlightened to your current way of thinking, you subscribed to the traditional values and beliefs, and you got your picture taken because you really wanted to drive a car. Uh, yeah. That's how we got your picture, that's how we're able to positively identify. So, you may have changed... But did I, 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 did not, did I agree to that to me. But all of that... Came I didn't out. agree to that being me. Okay, so, <laughs> these are options, either... The car gets towed, you get removed from the vehicle to allow for that to happen. You step out of the vehicle. So you guys are gonna verbal so you guys are going to verbally come inside of my car without permission. We've already verbally come inside your car. We were thinking about physically coming inside the car. Violating <laughs> you guys' rights on camera. That's yes. what you guys are gonna do. And it will be on eight or nine cameras at this point. <laughs> It'll be on eight or nine okay. more cameras. So I know that you're a rational guy. You want to be able to present your case. I've already informed you that this is not this is not the proper venue to make that case. Right? We we have the laws that we function by. You wish to change these things or you wish to subscribe to your own based on your beliefs. But those are not things that get argued at a street level. Correct. So things that get argued at a level much higher than this. Okay? So remove your car so that we don't have to tow it because the tow fills the tow bills start to rack up pretty significantly. Alright? And if you really want to go to court and if you want to get legal representation, all these things cost time and money. So lots I don't of money. want this to be so lots of time. I car out of way, lots right? of time and lots of money. Your car back so it's a legal parking spot, but then you are not able to drive your car away. You have to wait for a valid licensed driver to either sit in the passenger seat or take over the driver's seat for you. I get it. I mean, it's, it's frustrating. You're, you're just trying to be heard, but unfortunately, there's only so much, there's only so much wiggle room that we have here. That is correct, Your Honor. Okay. I'm um, an idiot. So what's it going to be? Would you like to get your vehicle towed, or would you like to have us move back? I'll move it back. No. I mean, that's like, that's not you guys are violating your guys' rights. Poor thing. <laughs> you guys are violating your rights, and, and even at that, I'm making it sound better than he did. And now, uh, can we clear a spot by here so we can get a little back? Uh, whoever's behind, uh, I'll usher back up, and then usher back up. Can we go ahead and get the rest of you on it? And, and I, I appreciate it, right? To, I'm trying to help you out as best as I can because I understand that you and I sort of never going to have the same philosophical beliefs about that, but I can only enforce what the legislature's telling me to, so yeah, that's where we are. Right, see how you have plenty of spot? 
this officer call us is going to make sure you don't bump into the back of a police car by accident, okay? okay. All right, so go ahead and back it up for me. Oh, please be stupid and try to drive off. That looked a lot like driving to me. Yes, it did, my case. Okay. So, like I said, you can't, you can't drive. Okay. So, are you going to be waiting here yeah, for somebody, or are you going to be waiting to so come back to pick up the car later? I'm going to be waiting. Well, there you have it. Uh, this one is kind of tough because I, I feel bad for him. He's, he's just a kid and he doesn't know any better. He's he stupid. looks like he hasn't had much of an upbringing or an education. Or any. Uh, th on the optimistic side, he's young. Maybe it, maybe this will teach him a lesson and he'll figure things out and, and get on a better path as a result of this. But, uh, you know, obviously it's it's just a, a sad situation to see a kid that young that doesn't even have a full driver's license yet uh, get himself in that kind of legal trouble. Here at Lock Talk, we do a lot. All right, and thank you, Mikey. That will bring the afternoon session to a close. Come on back for more fun as we go through the night here on From Day One. Have a great afternoon again. We'll see you tonight.